half a like in, and hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Turbine City. Last time we were popping in a couple of warehouses, and filling them up with the uh, commercial goods. Our traffic flows up to 85%, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's solely for the lack of industrial traffic delivering the goods. That uh, element of the game seems to have uh, fallen apart. Yeah, great numbers. It's a shame there's so many red icons in abandoned buildings. We've got our academic year report through. We're still making the academic works, which is all we're really concerned about. The ups and downs of the uh, reputation level, we're not too bothered about. a little headway. We're back to 482, our population. We're going to let it run for an entire academic year. We sort of went down to 475, then back up to 479 before we got through to the next uh, year report. And again we're back up to prestigious, so not too concerned about that, as long as we're still making the academic works. Once they're all done, we can turn off the report itself. So we're going to keep working on uh, our little rezoning plans. Just change small parts of the uh, commercial over to residential. That seems to work for us last time. In terms of getting our numbers up, getting more people in the city. The warehouses uh, do produce nice pollution, so we won't get uh, too close to that. Yeah, we can maybe rezone a few bits. Let's strip the light uh, commercial along here. Probably get that changed over for residential. The shops are there and not complaining. I think most of the complaints are coming from the high density stuff. I think most of the low density stuff has stayed and hasn't been abandoned. Look at this changed over. There's still massive gaps in our uh, commercial zone in where we've lost loads and loads of shops. And that hasn't really sort of bounced back. I haven't seen the demand for commercial return. It's maybe popping up in tiny bits and then immediately absorbed because we've got so much uh, already zoned. It's trying to fill it all back in. But after a while, a large portion of the shops are then running out of goods. So we'll keep on rezoning little bits, trying to balance it back out ourselves. Trying to shrink the amount of uh, commercial we've got so it's easier to supply with what's left of the industry. A lot of our industrial zoning, it's uh, much the same story. Factory is saying they don't have uh, anyone to sell goods to. And there's no rhyme nor reason. It's just the simulation itself, losing the plot. As I've said, that tends to happen. You get up into the, you know, six, seven hundred thousand usually. But with the extra DLC, giving the game more to think about, I think it's uh, changed that point where the game starts to lose it. Though it seems to be about sort of four hundred and fifty thousand, so a massive reduction how big you can build a city before the game itself starts losing the plot. I need to 
play through a couple more times to get a, a good average. And it's certainly much earlier than the last time I tried this and try to get a max population city. I'm running out of tactics as well. When we were first rezoning and adding the car parks and unique buildings as a tactic, it seemed to be working, but much like a fighting game opponent, I think the simulation is getting wise to our moves. It seems to be having a less of an impact. And it seems to be on the way back up. So with any luck, we can get back up to where we were. Just need to let it run. So we made it up to 488,000. Our growth rate is slowing down. It's been generally four or five hundred all the way up until this point. It's starting to level off. So we'll see if we can rezone a little bit more. I'll get it back up. I would like to get further than last time. If it is going to decide to yo yo back again, we have a sort of mass extinction. I'd like to get up to the end point. We can make a little bit more of the same sort of improvements. Maybe we can move that line where it's going to decide to flip back the other way. Last time it was the 490. Didn't get much past there. Don't think it got to 491 before we started losing people, so. a bunch of improvements since then, or what I hope are improvements. So hopefully that will translate. It's an interesting bit of zoning, but I think we've set it up for the noise. So maybe we just want to take away a little bit and leave it as is, so we don't get noise pollution. Well, with our six citizens, checking a bit. I'm pretty sure that number is still coming down. I'd like it to get it down to zero. But if it's down at sort of less than five, I think it'd be all right with that. To go ahead and pop in the uh, medical center when we unlock it. Save most of the monuments for the end. Once we've got the power one in, that's the most useful one. I think we're all right for our distance away from the specialist commercial. Tourism buildings or noisy hotels and things are uh, right along the riverside. So I think we're all right to cut further closer into all this commercial with a bit more residential. So we can do a bit more rezoning here. As I say, hopefully that's going to translate into the growth rate staying positive for longer. any rhyme or reason to it suddenly dropping and going the other way, but that's the behaviour that we've got to work with. I'll just keep trying to work with it. I was worried when it kept dropping and dropping in between those two academic years. Part of me did worry that it wasn't ever going to come back next clip we were going to be like 300,000 or something. I'd be crying. 
But no, it's uh, much like a yo-yo. It got down to sort of four, seven, five, and then just stopped, and then turned back the other way. The growth rate was huge. And we've got everything covered. Traffic flows at eighty-three percent now. But if that means things have got better, and there's more shops and uh, factories going on, there's more industrial traffic. I don't know. Six citizens down to three. That's totally fine by me. 22%, 5%, these are all within acceptable levels. One red building down here, we can maybe get in some more post offices. Could pop in another sorting centre somewhere, but I don't think we need it. I think maybe just a few small post offices themselves. Places where we've got gaps. I'll try and get better coverage for that. It's another thing that might be able to help us keep our growth rate up. If we can get past the sort of 491, then we'll know that uh, we can definitely go further. It's not just going to ping back at the same point. Like an infinite yo yo of the population going up and down, getting ever closer to uh, the half a million, that would be the worst. It's like the infinite torture. Let's get up to 499, but then uh, swings all the way back down. 470. 50 episodes. Good for content, but not good for mental health. <laughs> we'll get a few more post offices popped in. I'm thinking on the edge of where we've got uh, a specialist stuff. Maybe reduce that to uh, our areas of spe specialist commercial. We bring them in a bit. It'll be another opportunity to reduce the overall commercial, replace it for residential. I'd like it if we had a bigger need for residential and more of the houses we're building in. It doesn't make much sense that uh, you'd go from 475,000 to 490,000 without needing to build in lots of new housing. But then the uh, simulation hasn't made much sense for a while, so... I think where we've uh, rezoned a lot of the residential, or created new residential by rezoning the commercial, I think that is coming in slowly but surely. Wait a while. I would think more of it would have filled up with the introduction of uh, you know, 15,000 new people. That's all just sort of flat sharing. Yeah, we're just working with the strange behavior of the simulation. Trying not to worry. Staying strong. Full confidence that we're going to make it to the half a million. It's a bit worrying that it seems to be leveling off again about the same point. 49A. doing all we can. Please on some of this industrial. It's clearly never going to come back to full by itself. So it can really empty now. We don't have any need so 
These offices are not coming in. I think our specialist commercial stuff is far enough away. So we could probably rezone with the residential on both sides of this main road. These offices are never coming in. Certainly better than the high density commercial. It's causing noise and making people sick. But uh, I'll just get it changed over for the high density residential. Since we stay far enough away from the edge of this uh, wood district. renamed at some point. It's a low priority at the time obviously. And that should be far enough away that we can uh, fill the rest up with residential. More houses for the prospective 10,000 people we're going to get to get to the end of the playthrough. right on top of that post office. We can move it if our six citizens number goes up. If it's too noisy. I'm pretty sure it's mainly the low density residential that gets sick from the noise. I think the people who live in the high density residential are more sort of toughened to it. They're used to all the other people around about them making a noise. So they don't mind so much. And there's the noise of shops and things. Well, we're up in triple figures for just now. Gonna line it up and let it run. See how we go for a bit. Yeah, we're definitely further than we got before. It's looking good. We've made it up to 492. I'm considering popping on another policy. We've still got plenty of money, so I think spending a little bit of money is uh, not going to hurt. Just need to turn on something that's going to maybe encourage a little bit more happiness. Park maintenance boost. I think we can turn this on our park maintenance building set up. So if we can get them having the uh, parks running in tip-top shape. Get all the bushes nice and trimmed and everything. Got industrial space planning and that can double the amount of goods that are being made in the industrial. It could be a tactic but it's not going to help the other half of the equation. them perhaps abandoned twice as fast because they'll run out of customers sooner and they have a stockpile of goods. I could place this zoo back in the days before the Park Life DLC and you could make zoos. This was it. This popped in on the corner. Maybe add in a couple more car parks as well. Or the commercial demand is not going to come back to the point that it fills all back in the spaces that we've got now. Bigger gap there, but not big enough to fit one of the wider car parks, so we can maybe pop something else in there. I don't know how much of an impact the car parking makes of the happiness it creates. But, you know, every little helps. Maybe get a few lined up uh, along the back here for Central Park. Pop in a few of these ones with just enough room. Looks like the road isn't perfectly straight or the back of the park isn't perfectly straight. 
see how many we can fit in along here. And we can maybe switch to the uh, smaller car parks. See if we can maybe wrap some around here. Again, use up some more of the space. I can't see us getting enough uh, commercial demand to want to make new tourist zones and entertainment zones around these areas. In an ideal world, we would have kept our demand. The simulation would have kept going the way it was going. Oh well, we're working with what we've got. Oh, if we took up a lot of the space, maybe it would swing back the other way. The level of the problem, and the decline of the commercial and industrial, but most of it's just abandoned. And the simulation hasn't sort of shown much signs of uh, coming back to normality. Seem to be leveling off again. We're getting so close. We're at 496. Traffic flows down to 79 again. It's a more realistic number. Yeah, usually, even with a big city, if you set up the roads the way I have, sort of with road hierarchy in mind tend to keep the traffic flow between 7A and 8A without needing to use Traffic Manager to sort out your junctions and roundabouts and things. Even with the vanilla traffic AI logic and stuff. Road hierarchy does uh, make a lot of difference to the traffic flow. Like even if we'd kept all our shops and factories and things, I'm pretty sure the traffic flow would still be about 70%. I like to think with the number going down, it's encouraging that some of this stuff is building back in and staying. It's pretty hard to judge you're working on uh, a large scale. So we'll keep trying. Topping up the services. Where we see complaints. Try to expand our coverage. So everyone's happy. Or as happy as can be. About to get up to the 497. promising that we can get there. We're getting so close. I really don't want to jinx it <laughs> in case it just magically starts going the other way. I might run for a little bit. Let's see how we go. Have a look at rezoning a little bit of this before we uh, leave it for the day. Where our specialist uh, commercial is. Definitely got more room. We can get a little closer with our houses. I'm going to rezone sort of this much. I can go across the road as well to that point. I think what we've left is certainly enough of a, a buffer for the noise. doesn't uh, start to fall back the other way without uh, rhyme or reason. So we'll leave it here for today. We'll come back in the next one. See if we can get there.
until then, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.